Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. You can see the white butterfly right there. That lays eggs that devastate your cool weather crops. Your kales, collards, broccoli, cauliflower, all the plants that are in the same brassica family. So that butterfly lays eggs of, of the green cabbage worm. And very quickly, all your beautiful leaves of your kales, collards, Brussels sprouts can be destroyed. So there's a couple of options. You can keep spraying and if you're going to spray, you spray every 10 to 14 days. Keep that routine of neem oil going or BT going. You can put down dusts. You want to dust them every seven days. Keep those uh, insecticides basically on your plants. Now there's another strategy and I just wanted to show you this real quick. I've been talking about it, but I want to show you how well the plants are doing in there. And these plants right here were planted at the same time as the plants I'm going to show you. And it's using ag fabric to cover your plants. This was my experiment that I did in the uh, spring of this year. I had a Brussels sprout in there that did wonderfully well. I've harvested that and already ate it. This is a blue curled kale. So this has been protected by this ag fabric. This is used for covering trees. I go to agfabric.com. I'm not affiliated with them. Don't particularly recommend them. But that's where you can find products like this. You're looking for basically a mesh. Um, water can get in there. You can water easily. Sunlight gets in there. Air flows through there. All that kind of stuff. And it has UV protection so the sun's not going to degrade it. If you use tool, you know, something you can get at a fabric store, that will degrade within one year and it's not going to last year after year. This also has a zipper down it. Basic trellising to support the ag fabric. And this comes as a dome because there are canopies that go over apple trees. Been harvesting it again all summer long. Absolutely beautiful. Let me show you a quick pick. Just nice and healthy. It's not getting dusted. It's not getting sprayed. Come around here. Today is September 12th. I'm in Maryland Zone 7. If you're interested in listening to podcasts, I started a new podcast series with Callie Kim. 45-minute podcast. You can find them at Spotify. Check out the video description. I will give you the links. And they're 45 minutes long, and the first one's about starting your first vegetable garden. These are collards in here, and they're doing really well. Um, broccoli also. You can see a couple of holes. Those could have been from some cabbage worms that came in when I planted. So the only time you're going to dust or spray something on here is when you plant them, spray them, dust them, maybe again in a week, just in case they brought in insects you want to just kill off anything on there. But ever since, you know, the beginning of August, middle of August, these have just been sitting in here, protected in the ag fabric. And they're growing really, really well. And this is maybe four weeks of growth in here from being transplanted, maybe five weeks. Snails and slugs could still get in there, but it's going to keep away the green cabbage moth that just devastates your plants. And these are ready to harvest. Some different kale, red Russian kale, some curled kale. I mean, it looks just beautiful. And I did the experiment like I was telling you. It was, yeah, it was successful. So for my fall crops, the stuff that I'm putting in August and growing into the fall, I decided to put up a couple more of these. And just look how beautiful the leaves are. No chemicals, no sprays, organic otherwise, except for that first week or so, just to make sure there's no visitors in there that are going to take over. But I highly recommend setting up some ag fabric growing areas for your brassica families, kale, collards, broccoli, all that. It really keeps that butterfly away, keeps the worms off of here, and it's a nice easy way just to reach in and harvest. And again, this is about four or five weeks from transplant growth. Water flows through here, sun gets in here. Works really, really well. Hope you give it a try because it can really change the satisfaction you have with gardening when you're not having to spray, your beautiful leafy greens aren't getting devastated by worms. Thanks for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.